Hey everybody, this is Bill over at uh, Little Airfoils again with another video of the Franken 40 K40 laser. Uh, she's highly modified. If you've seen from the other video, um, I'm gone full monkey with this thing. Not much I haven't done. I tore it all down the last couple days uh, to make uh, a couple more modifications. I know everybody's been uh, wanting the uh, STL files and uh, uh, bill of materials. And I was going to do a write-up, but, uh, you know, I hate even writing up the manuals for my laser cut uh, uh, airplane kit. So, I don't really see me making a manual or instructions for this other than I'll do a multi-part video of assembling the K40 here. Um, I made all new prints uh, to replace everything so I have all new uh, fresh prints to use to do the K40. There are a lot of them. <laughs> a whole lot. So uh, I need, still need to clean up some of the prints. Um, I need to uh, tap some of the holes, but I'll explain to you what I've done to the housing while it's in bare shape like this. In fact, the only thing left on this is the lights, um, which I would recommend uh, once you tear this thing down and you do this kind of a conversion, put the lights in. Uh, it will help you uh, as you're assembling it because it does get dark in there and hard to see sometimes. Uh, but let's proceed here. Um, one thing, I, my old vent, uh, I'll probably make another one. This was done out of scrap, you know, leftovers from the 3D print. Um, it has a 28-inch, uh, square-inch opening. Uh, and the K40 had 15 square inches uh, opening for the exhaust. So I cut it out. Uh, as you can see... Uh, it's a pretty massive hole right now. Um, plenty of air pulling through there. Uh, no, this isn't for a stereo. Um, this is the latest thing that I've done. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do a Cohesion 3D and $40 for the light burn. But uh, I think it's time. I do have a Z-bed and I do have a rotary. Um, so I went ahead and purchased the Cohesion uh, 3D board, 200 bucks, ouch, $40 for the software, another ouch, but, um, hell, <laughs> this thing's already a hot rod, so we'll see what else it can do. Um, this hole back here, uh, I made a couple of, um, plates that fit them. Uh, this is for uh, the stock Nano M2 board. It has the, uh, for the limit switches, it has the five pin um, uh, slot here. Uh, it also has the uh, four right here for the stepper motors. Uh, two right here, two pins uh, for whatever you need and three pins over here for whatever you need. Um, I made one for the Cohesion 3D. This is totally plug and play. Um, I realized when tearing down this laser several times that it takes quite a while to take apart the uh, electronics box from the laser uh, housing itself. Uh, so we are now making it totally plug and play. Everything inside the laser will plug into this side. And everything outside the laser will plug into this side. So it's just a matter of... Choo -choo 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 -choo, and uh, it's a done deal. I also made a cover for to hide the wiring. Yeah, I know the 3D print sucks. Uh, something was wrong. I'll redo it. But uh, this will cover the wiring. It will screw on back here. Um, and basically it has an opening for the wiring to come up here. So it'll be all nice and tucked away and, and hidden. The other thing that I've done uh, with the uh, laser was I made access holes in the sides 
for the mirror mounts. Uh, I have the cloud ray set, and to be honest with you, with these sausage fingers, it's really hard because everything's so close to the wall to get the maximum um, throws out of the machine. So uh, I cut holes in, I printed some covers. The covers will go on like so. I still will uh, drill a screw and mount it in there and that will take care of that. Um, I do have a huge opening in the bottom. Uh, so I love that a big Z table in there. So like I said, this is gonna be a multi-part video. Um, there's like two more parts other than this. I will be about assembling it. You'll find out uh, how to put this thing together and troubleshooting any issues along with the bill of materials. So just be a little patient um, and everything will be done. Uh, this is it for this video right now. So have fun, stay safe, uh, explore your talents, and I'll see you later in the next video. Uh, bye.